the reason why you're so frustrated and angry and bitter is because you're functioning on an old software internally. And life is demanding an upgrade. And you keep pushing off the alarm, saying, remind me tomorrow. It's time for the next version of yourself. Snap out of it. You're going to have to sacrifice who you used to be. Sacrifice is what's going to get you in the door. Sacrifice is what's going to have you seated at the table. College is not high school. And the real world is not college. And so you can't keep showing up the old version of yourself. And so you've got to learn how to sacrifice your time. You've got to sacrifice. When you want to sleep, you have to wake up. When you want to watch that movie, you've got to read that book. If you want the future, you've got to sacrifice your time. Time. Where we spend our time is what we value most. Get out of this 30-day mentality and commit for the rest of your life. I, I need you to get out of your comfort zone. You can't be successful with the companion of comfort. Comfort and success cannot walk together. Boss up and admit that you are afraid. You are afraid to fulfill destiny. You are afraid to manifest. You are afraid to evolve. You are afraid to give it everything you have because you are afraid that people will reject you. You are afraid to change. You are afraid to move. Boss up and admit that you are afraid. And I'm just believing that today is the day that you break through. I need you to tell yourself, I am not afraid. I am not afraid of pursuing my objectives. I am not afraid of focusing. I am not afraid of sacrificing. I am not afraid of giving it everything I have. I don't care what anybody thinks. I don't care what I look like. I look crazy if I have to to fulfill my destiny. This is my time. Late nights, early mornings, sometimes no friends, no family. I don't know what your sacrifice is. You just may have to give everything you have. But in the end, it'll be worth it. The future is very expensive. I don't know what it is that you want to do, but everybody's got something they want to do. Everybody's got something they want to become. Everybody's got somewhere they believe they've been destined to go. And oftentimes we don't hit these targets because we're not considering the cost. Then I just want to share with you things that you need to start sacrificing right now. Number one, your time. You got to get used to sacrificing your time. If you're going to achieve it, if you're going to become it, if you're going to go somewhere, then you're going to learn how to have to sacrifice your time. You can't have the future and you don't know how to wake up at three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, five o'clock in the morning. You can't have the future. You will not be able to manifest if you're sleeping when the world sleeps. So you got to learn how to get up when everybody's sleeping. You only have 24 hours in a day. You got to learn to manage the time that is given to you. This means that you can't binge watch your favorite television show every day. This means that you can't be on social media every day. This means that you can't do whatever you want all day and think you're gonna manifest and become this person and achieve this feat. It's not gonna happen. Number two, you gotta surrender comfort. I, I need you to get out of your comfort zone. If you're going to be successful, if you're going to achieve it, if you're going to become it, you've got to break out of your comfort zone. Some of you, you have financial goals, you have relational goals, you have health goals, but you're comfortable. You're comfortable in the current toxic relationship you're in. You're comfortable being overweight. But I'm just wondering if there's anybody that's listening to me that's just flat out tired of being comfortable. Number three, past versions of yourself. There is an irritation, there is an anguish and a pain that we all carry when we show up in a new season, the old version of ourselves. 
every season requires a new version of yourself. Another version of discipline and focus and intentionality. So you gotta sacrifice the old you. I know you keep celebrating small wins and what you accomplished five years ago, two years ago, what you did in high school. I need you to find a mirror. I need you to say goodbye to the old version of yourself. In the next three to six months, you're gonna make you proud. The next thing that's gotta go is fear, pride, and ego. For many of us, fear is disguised as rational and practical. And, and fear is disguised as a planning agent. I'm just planning out the process and I'm just gonna wait. I'm just kinda walking myself through everything and, 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 and processing everything. And so fear cloaks, fear disguises itself as, as process. And, and I'm talking to you. I need you to find a mirror and I need you to bind up the spirit of fear. And I need you to tell yourself, I am not afraid. I am not afraid. If you were to ask me, what do I fear? I don't fear starting. I fear never starting and sleeping on my potential. I'm terrified of not manifesting and becoming the version of myself I was destined to be. So the next thing you're gonna to have to sacrifice is that vice. Now listen, I, I don't know what your vice is. If you're trying to lose weight, your vice could be ice cream, chips, cupcakes, cookies. If you're trying to be financially fit, your vice could be splurging on clothes and entertainment and food and recreation. Sometimes you're gonna to have to surrender that month, that quarter, that year. It takes a lifetime of discipline. Can you surrender what you have possessed? Can you surrender what is possessing you? Some of you are possessed by social media. It's no longer a servant, it is a master. Social media is a beautiful servant, but it is a terrible master. Can you surrender social media? Can you surrender your time? Can you surrender yourself? Can you surrender your mind? Can you surrender your will? Can you stop choosing what's killing you? If you're going to achieve it, if you're going to manifest, if you're going to do this thing, then you're going to need some stamina. Come on, believe it. Come on, you got to start speaking that stamina over your life, speaking that endurance over your life. Believe it, believe it. If you're going to be extraordinary, and you can't make ordinary sacrifices. There are levels to sacrifice. There's sacrifices that everybody makes. Sacrifices in every scene of our lives. And then there are some extraordinary sacrifices. You can't have the future if you can't surrender something that's no longer serving you. You cannot manifest. You cannot become the next version of yourself. You cannot experience a higher quality of life unless you sacrifice. There are some things that you love too much. There's some people that you've kept in your life. They are toxic, they add no value. They are no longer serving your vision. It's time for the next version of yourself. Snap out of it. This version of you is not gonna carry you in this next season. You're gonna have to sacrifice who you used to be.